Liberal Minister of International Development and Women and Gender Equality, whatever that means, Miriam Monsef, is bragging about nagging pro-life conservatives. Today, I'll show you the official letter she sent to a bunch of them. Justin Trudeau's liberals just won't shut up about abortion. They're fanatical about it. So fanatical that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is taking the monumentous occasion of a meeting with American VP Mike Pence to scold the Americans on the issue. Just watch. Obviously, I'm very concerned with uh, the situation uh, around the backsliding of women's rights that we're seeing through uh, from conservative movements uh, here in Canada, in the United States, and around the world. Uh, I will have a, a broad conversation with uh, with the Vice President, which, uh, of course, that'll come up, but we're going to mostly focus on uh, uh, the ratification process of NAFTA and making sure that we get good jobs for Canadians. Weird flex, Trudeau, but okay. Now, I sort of hope that VP Mike Pence scolds Trudeau on the Prime Minister's treatment of women who don't do exactly what Trudeau wants them to do. Maybe Mike Pence could explain the value of the Pence rule to Trudeau. Now, that rule says that a man really shouldn't be alone with women who aren't his wife. It's to avoid controversy and rumors of impropriety swirling around. You see, Pence is a happily married, controversy-free, faithful Christian husband. And so he's got nothing to learn from our witless, gaff-prone, gropey, ethically challenged, hedonistic prime minister about how to treat women. That's for darn sure. But the prime minister, well, he's not the only one obsessed with abortion rights. The entire Canadian House of Commons, save for some moral conservatives, gave abortion a standing ovation this week. And Trudeau's Minister for Women and Gender Equality, Miriam Monsef, who is most famous for being completely confused or lying about where she was born, not only won't stop tweeting about abortion, but she even sent a letter to pro-life conservative MPs who had the courage to participate in the March for Life this year. She sent a letter to Hector, Badger, and bully them on her official government letterhead. Now, I got my hands on a copy of the letter, and I thought maybe you folks at home would like to see it too. Because I want to show everyone just how Monsef thinks the non-existent constitutional right to abortion is far more important than the very real rights of religious freedom and freedom of conscience. She wrote, To MPs Rachel Harder, David Anderson, Harold Albrecht, Ted Falk, Glenn Motts, Dane Lloyd, Phil McColeman, Bev Shipley, Kevin Sorensen, Brad Trost, Arnold Viersen, and Dave Van Kesteren. By attending anti-choice rallies, sponsoring screenings for anti-choice films, or by empowering conservative politicians who pledged to fight to make abortion unthinkable in our lifetime, the Conservative Party of Canada is demonstrating their willingness to reopen this debate and roll back women's rights and autonomy. This is simply unacceptable. Hang on for a second here. It's unacceptable to watch a movie. The liberals don't even want you watching movies that tell you the other side of this story, the unglamorous tragedy of it all. Anyway, let's go on with the letter. Fundamental human rights are not a political issue. Given your recent actions as Conservative Caucus members, I am calling on you and your leader to clearly reaffirm Canadian women's rights to choose and to work together with our Liberal government to protect access to safe and legal abortion services both at home and around the world. Now, all of this, like I said, is done on her official government letterhead. Now, I wonder if Monsef has ever sent something like this to, I don't know, Saudi Arabia. Just kidding. That requires moral clarity. Now, as a personal aside, as a staunchly pro-life woman, I hope Monsef never shuts up about this. Because the more outrageous she gets, the more people come around to my way of thinking. People are actually getting more and more pro-life as the pro-choice movement gets more and more extreme. If I were a conspiracy theorist, and I'm not, I'd accuse Monsef of working for the Catholic Women's League. But in reality, I think Monsef is just a gender quota hire, given her job because of her genitals, by a powerful simpleton man who likes to keep hardline sycophants and people dumber than him, you know, people not bright enough, 
to understand the Charter of Rights and Freedoms as those who populate his inner circle. I guess Monsef gets to choose which one of those people she really is. But even if, even if you are not pro-life, and I know some of you out there watching aren't, I do think many of you who watch our content here on The Rebel care deeply about free speech issues and resent government bullying of conscience issues like Monsef is doing right now. I think even our pro-choice viewers see the government trying to force peaceful people of faith to violate their consciences to conform to the Liberal Party of Canada values on the abortion issue, one more time, might I add, as tyrannical and grotesque. And it is, in fact, creating these strange allies against Justin Trudeau. People who didn't think they had common ground are now standing on that common ground together against Justin Trudeau. I guess the question we need to ask the Liberals is, are Canadians able to think freely anymore in this country or not? Does Trudeau's Minister of Women and Gender Equality treat all women as one homogenous blob voting bloc? Or does she respect the fact that, like everyone else in the world, we gals also have a diverse range of opinions on this and, of course, any other issue? Because imposing Liberal Party values on pro-life women hardly seems like something the Minister of Women and gender equality should be doing. Looks to me like Monsef wants conservative parliamentarians to believe the same as her powerful, idiotic male boss, Justin Trudeau. And you know what? Don't even get me started on the passive anti-Christian bigotry laid out in Monsef's letter. Does Monsef want all practicing Catholics banned from the House of Commons? What about evangelicals or orthodox Christians? Should they be banned too? Does Montef want all practicing Christians banned from the government just like they do in her home country of Iran? Because if so, she should just come right out and say it. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunry. Justin Trudeau is promising to force social media companies to censor his loudest critics in the lead up to the 2019 election. But at the Rebel, we know he means us, so we planned a workaround. We have a new Rebel Media mobile app. It's available on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Download it, give it a whirl, and help us fight Justin Trudeau's censorship wherever you go.